Hi everybody, how are you all? Are you all okay? Today I have a friend with me. His name is Leo. Can you say hi to Leo? Say hi. We're going to be learning about lions this week because lots of you are telling Mrs. Good, Mrs. Conkey and I that you are enjoying learning about the African animals and quite a few of you particularly like lions. So I'm going to pop Leo down. We've found a story that we think you will really like. It's called The Lion Who Wanted to Love. Do some of you already know this story? If you do, then you can join in with me. And if you don't, you can just enjoy it like I did. I love this story. I didn't know it very well, but I do now. And I think it will definitely be one of my favourites. So we're going to have a little look at the front cover first. We can see this is our lion who wanted to love. That's a nice way to be, isn't it? Love. Love is one of the most important things in the world. And we can see he's a smiley little cub here, can't we? Where does he live? I think he lives in Africa. I think you're right. He doesn't live in Market Deepen, does he? So we're thinking about lions. What kind of animals are lions? They're big cats, aren't they? He's a big cat. And you know, lions are very well known for being brave and courageous. So as we read this story, I want you to have a little think about those things we know about lions being brave and courageous. Deep in the African heartland, way out on the hot sunny plains, there lived a small lion who didn't fit in. And Leo was this lion's name. I wonder why he didn't fit in. I wonder why he didn't feel like he belonged there. Now lions are usually fierce and lions are meant to be strong. But Leo just wanted to love everybody and play with his friends all day long. You worry me, Leo, my darling, his mum started saying one day. You'll never survive in the animal world if you don't learn to hunt for your prey. But mummy, said Leo, bewildered. I don't think I quite understand. What does bewildered mean? That's a big word, isn't it? Bewildered. It means a bit confused. But he says, I don't think I quite understand. I'm sure there are plenty of lions that hunt who could kill all the beasts in the land. And besides, when I'm close to a zebra, a funny thought goes through my head. Instead of deciding to bite through his skin, I'd much rather hug him instead. So here we can see that Leo wants to hug the zebra and be the zebra's friend. But actually, in Africa, in the wild, lions do hunt zebras to eat their food. But Leo doesn't want to do that, does he? I've spoken, said Leo's mum sternly. It's up to you now to decide. But if you insist you're not going to hunt, there's no place for you in, the, in our pride. A pride is what we call a group of lions. And lions live together in a group like this, and it's called a pride. But his mum has just said quite crossly, stern means very firm. Perhaps sometimes you're grown that speak to you in a firm way if you're not quite doing what we would like you to do. She says, if you're not going to hunt, then there's no place for you here. So what does that mean? What does Leo have to do? Yeah, he has to leave. It's not very kind, is it? I don't think I know any mummies that would ask all or any of us to leave. But this mummy's a little bit stern, too stern for my liking. I don't think that's very kind. Look, how's Leo feeling here? Yeah, he's feeling a bit sad, isn't he? Poor Leo crept off to the jungle, but hoped that with love in his heart, he'd learn how to cope in the animal world, though he didn't quite know where to start. Oh, poor Leo. That evening, while Leo was sleeping, he woke to the thunder of hooves. And when he looked up from his lair, he could see a whole antelope herd on the move. We know about antelopes. We saw an antelope in Handa's story, didn't we? I wonder where they're going. Why do you think they're running? Why do you think the antelopes are running? Some leopards were running beside them, surrounded by thick clouds of dust. 
Leo thought quickly. He jumped to his feet. I must help them, he cried. Yes, I must. So who does he want to help? He wants to help the antelopes because the leopards are running beside the antelopes. What do you think the leopards want to do? Do you know? Mm, the leopards want to eat the antelope. The leopards are hunters hunting for their prey, just like lions would. Then he caught sight of two injured young ones who couldn't keep up with the bunch. If he didn't help them to try to escape, the leopards would eat them for lunch. Leo led them away back to safety and gave them some food they could eat. He licked their wounds clean till they both became strong and he nursed them back onto their feet. Oh, look. Can you see? Leo is making the antelopes much better, isn't he? He's really looking after them. The baby antelopes. It's very kind, isn't it? The antelope babies kissed Leo and told him, we'll never forget that you saved our lives when we thought we were dead. You're the loveliest lion we've met. Leo was very excited. His face lit up in a smile. It's fun making friends in the jungle, he thought. Then he lay down and slept for a while. That's what happens when you do something kind, isn't it? it makes you feel good. Have you ever done anything kind for somebody? Did it make you feel good? From that day on, Leo decided to run to each squeal and each cry. He led little hippos to watering holes and he taught baby birds how to fly. Leo's helping all of the animals, isn't he, in the jungle? It's making him feel really good to help the others. That's a really kind way to be. That's how he's showing all of his love. He helped a giraffe who'd been injured and a vulture who'd broken his wing. And even though all of his friends gave him food, he never once asked for a thing. That's a really lovely way to be. Be like Leo. Never ask for anything and it will come. <gasps> What's happened here? Who's in the water? Then one day beside a wide river, Leo heard a small animal scream. He ran to the banks and caught sight of a, sight of a cheetah being swept very quickly downstream. Please help, cried the cheetah in a panic. I haven't yet learned how to swim. The waterfall's going to drown me, I'm sure. With a, with a splash, Leo boldly leapt in. Well, what does it mean if you do something boldly? Do you know? It means you're very brave. You're being very bold and courageous. He's jumping in to help the cheetah. Oh dear, can you see what's happening? What's happening now? He managed to rescue the cheetah and push him quite safe to the side. But as he was trying to scramble ashore, Leo slipped and got caught in the tide. The river was crashing and foaming and Leo let out a loud yelp. The waterfall wasn't too far away now. So the cheetah rushed off to find help. Oh no, what's going to happen? What do you think will happen next? Can you tell your grown-ups? What do you think? <gasps> the friends Leo had in the jungle all raced to the bank straight away. They wanted so much to show Leo their thanks. At last, they had now found a way. Because of course, all of these animals had had help from Leo before, hadn't they? And now it's their turn to help him. They climbed on the rocks through the rapids and linked themselves up tail and paw. An elephant wrapped his long trunk round a tree, which anchored them safe to the shore. That's good teamwork, isn't it? Working together. Do you work together with your friends to help people? And when Leo got to the rapids, a lioness dipped down her head. She lifted him gently across to the bank. You're safe, Leo, darling, she said. Who do you think that lioness is? Can you see her? Who do you think she is? My son, you're a brave little lion. She spoke in her humblest tone. I was wrong, now I see. Love can bring us together. Please, Leo, she said, come back home. 
Oh, thank goodness. His mum realised, didn't she, that he had it right. He was right to want to love everybody because the love came back to him. You've got to be strong to be different. And when you've got love on your side, you've got the most valuable gift that there is. We want you as king of our pride. How lovely. So he returns home to be king of the pride. He's in charge of all of the lions. Isn't that a lovely story? Which part did you like the best? Can you tell your grown up? Leo's not a fierce lion like most lions, is he? But he was brave and he did show courage. Can you think of ways that he was brave and that he showed courage? I think we could all do with a friend like Leo, couldn't we? Are you a friend like Leo? Here he is. I think he enjoyed listening to that story. And I enjoyed reading it to you all. Maybe this week you could make some lions. You could paint lions, draw lions. Maybe you could find some facts out about lions, real life lions. You might draw pictures of this story, your favourite part. Lots and lots of things you could do with this story. And I'm sure myself, Mrs. Good and Mrs. Conkey will have a little think about the things we think you could try. But for now, it's a goodbye from Leo and a goodbye from me. Bye-bye.